Hello everyone, this is Lucretia Hayes and I'm with you again today with my question and answer session. Today's uh, question was about rebuilding credit after a bankruptcy. You know, if at all possible, bankruptcy should be avoided. There are times, and I understand circumstances, where it can't be avoided. But when you can avoid it, you should. Now, when it concerns bankruptcy, the first thing that you need to know is that it's going to be on your credit report possibly up to 15 years because even after it's dismissed or discharged, they have 7 to 10 years to take it off. Different, um, it's, it's done differently and it depends on who you know and what you're, what you're trying to do. But sometimes you can get it off after that 7 year period, oftentimes not as oftentimes 10 years. So during the period after it's been dismissed or discharged, the first thing to do is to make sure that you pull your credit, that you uh, look at anything that's on there that's older than seven years old, again, with the exception of bankruptcy, and begin to write letters to get all the old material taken off of your credit report. Um, second, if there's anything left that hadn't been paid off that you can afford to pay off, go on and pay it off or make payment arrangements and make sure when you make an agreement with your debtor that you, uh, um, that you arrange for them to report that you're paying again on your credit report. Sometimes they'll do it, sometimes they won't. It doesn't hurt to ask. The third thing is to build new entries with, with regular payments. In other words, um, I have a program that I do with my clients for credit repair to help them rebuild credit with credit, uh, credit unions and banks. And they get loans, secured loans, and they pay them back, you know, a minimum of six months to a year. And you do that a couple of times. This is not going to, you didn't lose your credit overnight, and you're not going to be able to rebuild it overnight. It's going to be some hard work, but it's worth it. If you want to go to school, if you want to, I mean, these days, I mean, you need your credit for everything from phones to cars to houses and apartments to, I mean, everything. They're checking your credit. There are some jobs you cannot get with a bad credit score. Trust me, I know. So the big thing is to start now. Do the things that you can do. If you can't hire a credit repair service like ours or someone else's, then do, it, do the work yourself. You can do it. You can write the letters. You can do the follow-up. You can make the phone calls. You can pay the bills. You can go and secure new credit and actually pay it off. Do not overextend yourself. A lot of people have a lot of different rules of thumb. I have personally had a lot of money and no money and a lot of money and no money. I've been up and down when it comes to finances and my credit has been damaged numerous times and so I kind of know a little bit about you know what I'm talking about because I had to first do it for myself. Now when it concerns um, your credit to your your debt to income ratio, I tell people this: do not uh, do not overextend yourself. Anything over thirty percent of your income is too much debt, really, because these days everyone knows people are losing jobs left and right. There's so much going on. You don't know for sure how long you're going to have your income, and you don't want to be living paycheck to paycheck. You need to be putting up at least a minimum of twenty percent of your income. And you need to be able to live off, as far as debt is concerned, only 30, maybe 35. 40 is really pushing it. But by no means do you try to have, oh, 50% of your income. Because at some point, it can catch up with you. If you get sick, you have to take off work. That is how people get behind. That is how your credit is ruined in the first place. I hope this has been a help and a blessing to you. If you want to uh, submit questions or if you want to schedule a consult, you can get me at lucretia.hayes at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, forward slash Lucretia Hayes, Twitter, forward slash Lucretia Hayes. You can, um, I mean, there's just a thousand ways to get in touch with me. You can just plug in Lucretia Hayes in Google and you'll find a ton of stuff. So, you know, contact me. Let me know that these things are helping you. And also ask me your questions. I'm here to help. God bless you. Have a good day.